Hello everyone. First of all, I want to say Happy New Year. It's officially 2023 today. Woohoo! Um, so today we are going to make bay rum soap. I haven't made this one in a while. I have so many fragrances and I totally forgot that I had this one. And it sells really good. So, But first I wanted to show you guys a little bit what I find easy to do when you... I don't know if you can see it. When you go on soapcalc.net, I believe it is, uh, you can print out your recipe. And I just go ahead and I three hole punch it and I take a piece of tape and I stick that up on the counter. I, you can't see it, but I put it on my cupboard above me so that I can see everything that I have written and what I need there. Anyway, that's just my little tip for today. Let's get on with the soap making. Um, let's see, I have my oils already made. I have everything ready. So let's go ahead and get started. And by the way, I hope y'all had a wonderful 2023 Happy New Year's Eve. I went and saw Avatar 2, and even though it was ridiculously long, it was still a great movie. So all right, now let's get started. So I like to mix all my oils, as you guys know, in advance, and now I'm going to add the lye water. I'm going to give this a rinse real quick. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so now we're going to mix this up. I have three different colors set up. We're going to use Caribbean Blue from Brambleberry. We're going to use um, Astro from Mad Mica. Sorry, I spilled uh, liquid dye all over my frag or my mica. So sometimes it's hard to tell what it is, but I assure you it is Astro from Mad Mica's and. We're also going to use matte gold from Mad Micas. I'm adding um, bay rum, which I've already measured out from Flaming Candle. And last, I'm going to put a little honey in it, and let's get this going. Now, I read that this kind of accelerates, so I'm going to try to work fast here. All right. <laughs> As usual I always like to add my shea butters or my any butters last. Let's make sure we scoop. Oh poo. <laughs> Leave it to me. Okay. I'm glad I didn't swear. Because normally the first thing that comes out of my mouth is a swear word, so uh let's see. We made a mess. As always, I find that the older I'm getting, the more I drop stuff. I do have arthritis, so that's probably the, the cause, but you know what? You learn to live with it. All right, let's see. Um, let's get that over here. Let's go ahead and add our honey. It's cold, so it's a little thick. I know, I did not measure that, but I've been doing this for a long time, so. It, ooh, this is thick already, and I haven't even added the fragrance. So I think, yeah. Um, I can tell you that that was about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of, of honey. Um, you can, I believe it's one teaspoon per pound of oil, so I use a little less. Alright, here comes our fragrance. I'm not going to completely stir that because I don't want it to thicken up quite yet. Alright. 
I really do like this fragrance. It's been around for a long time. It's a classic, but it never gets old. Alright. So I'm going to give that just a little stir. <laughs> I want to um, keep it fluid while I add my color, while I add it to the colors. And I'm also going to, oh sorry you can't see what I'm doing here. Um, I'm also going to add some plain batter. Let me go ahead and move these in a shot if I can. I think you can see them. Yes, you can. All right. We're going to have some uncolored. I'm not going to do too much of that color. All right. It's getting pretty thick already. So let's go ahead and scooch this along. know if you can hear that thumping but that is my neighbor upstairs we did not insulate this place I love where I live but the insulation on the floors is horrid by the way I am remember I have been having camera issues for a while now and I had bought a new Canon and I tested it out in it kept um, saying there was an error when I recorded videos, which was very frustrating because I recorded several soap making videos, spent hours, and then it says that it was corrupted. So I sent that back. And naughty little me, I just decided to get one that was like twice as expensive. So, you know, this one is a Fujifilm XS10 and so far I'm liking it. This is my first video. So this is the gold color. Let's see. I just put a little in because I want this to, I don't think this is quite the right color for a beach but for the sandy beach but we're going to add some almond meal to give it some speckles like you're on the sand. And this is just Crafter's Choice Almond Meal. This will give it some little texture like sand. Let's see if that's enough. Maybe just a touch more. I like how it looks though. I don't know that I've ever seen this color of sand, so I kind of didn't really have the right color. This was the closest I could come up with. If you can believe that or not, I, I'm kind of a fragrance and color hoarder, but I have many more fragrances than I do have colors. So I do what I do with what I... Alright, so this is going to be our sandy beach. Try to get in closer. Alright, that looks good. I'm going to set this aside. And then I'm going to, as you can see how thick this has gotten, so we're going to... I don't think I'm going to stick blend anymore. I think I like this color. I added just a touch. I used the the Astro Green, and I put just a pinch of the Caribbean Blue in this green to give it just a little bit of blue. But I don't really see it. 
that's all right. I still like the color. All right, that one's done. Let's see. Now we're going to do the blue. See how thick that is, but it's very workable. I really, really love this blue from Brambleberry. It's one of my favorites. Isn't it pretty? I'm kind of tired today, but you know what? I was like, this is the first day of 2023, and I'm going to start it off right with a soap. So, here we are. But I can tell you the rest of the day is going to be binge-watching on Netflix. <laughs> oh, this one's super thick. All right. I think we're going to get a little spatula. These little spatulas are so handy. I like them. All right. They're easier to work with and smaller. See, much better. All right. I think we're ready. Let me rinse off my stick blender real quick so it's easier to clean. It's going to be harder to clean. All right. So now that it smells delicious, well, not delicious, but it's a very masculine scent. So this is my first time doing a layered beach soap. So let's hope it comes out. Can't believe I've never done one before in all my years. We're going to put all of it in. No waste. just a little bit more. All right, so I'm not going to try to make it even. I'm going to make kind of like little textures in it so it looks more like a beach. I think that'll do. Okay, and then I was kind of hoping I could do it in the pot swirl, but I don't think that's going to work because our batter's too thick. So, I'm just going to do, not really spoon plops, let me think here. It's so thick. Can you see how thick it is? Um, how do I want to do this? I think I'm just going to... Just go and just texture it like the other. I'm not going to do a fancy top with this one because I'm, well, I don't think, but. <laughs> it's funny how like I have something in mind how I'm going to design it when I start and then then I get halfway through it and I'm like nah let's do it a different way so 
especially when your batter turns thick like this, it's not much else you could do. don't think this is going to come out the way I envisioned it, but I don't think it will be a loss. I think it will still be alright. Messy, messy. I hope this doesn't discolor too much. I I read that several people said it didn't discolor, but then a few people said it did, so we will see. If it does discolor, it will be kind of a white, creamy color, kind of like it is now. So hopefully this is what we're getting. Messy. I stomp it down like that because I don't want it to get a bunch of oh I didn't do the blue bunch of air boobles. <laughs> Did you hear me? I said boobles. Air boobles. Air boobles are no good. <laughs> no, I don't drink. <laughs> Although I sound like it sometimes. Love, love, love this blue. Hmm. Let's see if we can get maybe two more rounds. So also one of the new things I'm going to do after this time, next time I'm going to wait to post the the uh, soap making part until I cut it and I'll put them together. But this time since I'm just testing this camera and my settings, I'm still going to do it apart. But after that, I'm going to start posting them together so you guys don't have to watch two videos to see what I'm doing or what I've done. Did you see that? <laughs> it splattered. I made more mess. It splattered on my stick blender. Yay, more things I get to clean. white but I don't typically like using titanium dioxide because it 
it just leaves little specks and streaks sometimes and that drives me crazy. So yeah, this did not work at all like what I was going for. Sometimes you just have to go with it. I think that probably the only thing that semi worked in this, the way I envisioned it was the sand and it still wasn't the right color, but I like it anyway. All right, that's messy. You know what, I think I will do something to the top. Maybe we'll make some texture. Alright, we just happen to have this spoon out already. Alright, let's make sure. Let me lay down. I don't want the bottom of my... Zoom in a little bit so you can see. Oh, that's the wrong way. There we go. All right. I don't. I think this is too big. What do you think? Should I do a spoon or should I do a fork? By the way, this is another cool thing I love. I found this at the Goodwill, and I use it to keep all of my soaping stuff so it doesn't get mixed up with my regular utensils. Alright, and it's easy to grab because it's right there on the counter. Alright, let's see. Let's just make some... Well... Ooh, that's thick. All right, that'll do. That'll do. All right, everyone, here is the finish. Let me wipe this off real quick. Okay, here's the finished product. And keep your fingers crossed that this video looks good. So far, I think it's going to be all right, but you never know until I go to edit it. So anyway, Happy New Year, everyone, and thanks for watching. Take care.